Music Guy is asking, why are the Taliban and Iran attacking each other at the border? It seems like they are trying to cover up both stories. If they are friendly now since the takeover, why would they fight? Initially, they said no one was killed, but now they're saying the Taliban had a few losses. So, yes, this has been getting more news recently. Right. So there is, uh, we could focus on the specific event or, and we could look at this whole more generally as well. Okay. So, or actually you could zoom in, zoom out a little bit and then zoom out a little bit more. Okay. So let's zoom in this specific incident. So the Taliban came into power and it seemed like the Islamic Republic of Iran was attempting um, to be, ve to be, you know, very friendly with them, encouraging them, uh, supporting them. And there were people in Iran that were like, this is going to backfire. Taliban used to attack the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Taliban. And before the, f the fall of uh, Taliban, after the U.S. invasion, uh, Taliban and the Islamic Republic of Iran almost went to war with each other over the Taliban killing some journalists and some other uh, politicians and stuff. Uh, this um, and they're like, why are you helping them? And then people in the Islamic Republic of Iran were like, well, the Taliban today is not the Taliban back then, right? And now that there was finally an attack between Taliban and Islamic Republic of Iran, the people in Iran who were warning the Islamic Republic of Iran were like, why are you supporting these people? These are your enemies. People Now they're coming out and we're like, we told you, we told you this. And now they're saying this is just the beginning. The Taliban will eventually go into direct conflict with um the Islamic Republic. And this specific incident was over some farmers. Um, and the, and the, the Islamic Republic of Iran is like, oh, this was this was just a misunderstanding. OK, they're saying this was not because Ir the Islamic Republic of Iran and Taliban are at war with each other. This was a misunderstanding over the border. OK, because there were some walls that are not at the border. OK, there are some walls that are supposed to be protecting the border, but they are way behind where the border should be. OK, and the farmers usually come from Iranian farmers usually come from behind this wall to get to their farms. Right. And then they go back at, at, at the end of the day to go back home and they pass through the wall. OK, and apparently what they're saying, this again, this is the Islamic Republic of Iran, they're saying. So I don't know if any of this is true, is that the Taliban thought that the wall is the border. They didn't understand that the wall is not the border and the farms that are past the wall are still part of Iran. And that's why they were attacking the farmers. And then because they were attacking the farmers, there was like a, you know, back and forth. Right. Um, so that's the, the specific incident. And people, a lot of Iranians who are anti-regime, they were like pathetic, pathetic. Like you can't, these are the people that they're saying like the Islamic Republic of Iran is not defending his own farmers over the Taliban, okay? They're like, the Islamic Republic of Iran can only attack, de um, defend the civilians. They're like, look how weak the Islamic Republic of Iran is. Like, not only the Islamic Republic of Iran cannot uh, do anything against Israel, even though Israel ke keeps coming into Iran and destroys everything, and the Islamic Republic of Iran has, like, no retaliation because they're pathetically weak. Like, this is what the anti-government people will say to share. Like, they're like, you can't even attack Taliban. The Taliban are attacking your farmers, and you are afraid. You have to come and make excuses for them. Like they're saying you're you're like a dog that keeps barking but with no teeth. Um, you're like, oh, we're gonna destroy the United States, we're gonna destroy Israel. I mean, but you but even yeah, yeah. <laughs> but even the Taliban who is who's attacking your farmers, when they attack your farmers, instead of like attacking them back or like being aggressive against them, you come and you you do the PR for Taliban. They're saying the Islamic Republic of Iran is doing PR for Taliban, and we're like, oh, this was just a misunderstanding. Um, it's okay, we're still friendly and all. Like, so people are like, they're like, Islamic Republic of Iran can only attack its own civilians when they're oh, and when they're not armed. Like, that's the only person that the only people that you have the willing and the power to attack. Okay, so that's the uh, zoomed in version of it. A little bit more uh, zoomed out. Um, some people are warning that eventually the Islamic Republic of Iran and Taliban will come into conflict because of um, because they're because it's it's within Taliban's ideology that Shia be bad, <laughs> right? Shia bad, um, and um, Shia is like Shiism is shirk and evil, 
and these are these be fundamentalists and this is so, not something that maybe in the short term they could act like you know what we're going to protect the shias we're going to be peaceful there's a, but they're saying this is such a fundamental part of the taliban's ideology that they can't it, it can't be ignored and these are people that they're not here to govern a country they're here to bring an islamic regime and this is such a fundamental part of their views that they can't just like put it aside right um also some people are saying that the taliban's um ideology involves them maintaining a territory that includes um the Khorasan region which is part of iran so like they, that could also eventually lead into conflicts um yeah so there's that there was one other thing that i wanted to highlight i forgot which one it was that um yeah so wait 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 taliban okay yeah i forgot the other one but yeah so some people are saying that this will eventually re re lead to conflict but it but right but i i don't know if it will but i don't think at the moment any of them are interested oh here's the, la the last thing i wanted to mention okay at the moment both the islamic republic of iran and the taliban do not wish conflict at all like they have no capacity to get involved in anything like this right now the issue with the taliban is that we keep talking about the taliban as if it's one thing and as if as as if the the taliban in kabul or the taliban in doha and the taliban in these regions are all the same body and they all have control over each other like i think like the taliban in uh, in kabul sometimes gets reports of these attacks on the news <laughs> with the rest of us <laughs> you know what I mean? like people are honestly like, oh my God. probably <laughs> yeah much like yeah. iran's former foreign minister right yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's very good point. Zing. <laughs> very, yeah no but but again this is like people are like but taliban said they're gonna do this but they're doing this instead i'm like yeah they're not they're, they're they're not the same people like this is like many different talibans and there's no you know there's a there seems to be a central authority that's supposed to be commanding everybody but i don't think i think a lot of these other taliban groups are just be like this is our ideology we're supposed to do this i don't know what the hell people in the cop are saying like people like taliban is like saying oh we're not gonna attack for example, here's another. Here's the the best example is this one. Taliban is pro has promised that uh, the problem in Kabul has promised that they're not going to attack former government officials, right? And yet they are. Um, are they lying? Not necessarily. It's just that the Taliban in this like local place is like, how could we not attack them? They were like the enemy like we have to get revenge or something they have to punish them right and that maybe the taliban in kabul was like serious about saying we're not going to attack them but what are you going to do with this other taliban that think that they should attack them like are you going to wage war on them like how are you going to punish them the, the, a lot of these people have local support uh they have a, these are different little mini tribes that you can't just be like oh we're going to find the people who are responsible for this and punish them punish who are you going to go and with the, at war with the entire Taliban in that region like this will be a massive Taliban on Taliban <laughs> internal civil war that they don't want to start right mm -hmm. um yeah so there's you know or like the she oh the actually the most the biggest contention is like they're like oh yeah we're gonna we're not only we're not gonna attack the Shia community in, in Afghanistan we're even we're gonna we're gonna be protecting them okay against against Daesh against ISIS K um and some Taliban members are gonna like, wait, we're gonna what now? <laughs> we're gonna what now? We're gonna protect the Shias? Um, I, and like a lot of them, are like, excuse me, I didn't sign up for protecting Shias. I, I actually put, signed up for attacking Shias, not for protecting Shias. Um, so there's, so again, the Taliban that is in power has to be like, God damn, what do we do? Like, if we don't, if we don't protect the Shia, if we're like if if we let isis k attack the shias it's going to show that there's the, this country is, is unstable right and if we show that the country is unstable we're not going to get the money in we're going to be desperate be desperate for money um and the instability is going to make people not want to recognize us as officially and people are not going to come in china russia they're not going to come in with their money 
Um, but if we do protect, for example, the Shia, their own own members are going to be ag ag angry with us, and some of them are going to join ISIS, leave Taliban, and join ISIS K because we're protecting the Shias. And now the ISIS K is going to be even bigger, and there's going to be even more attacks on Shia. So it's like it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like, hey, if if honestly, if the Taliban was in the Taliban, I would actually be feeling bad for them right now because I don't know what to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what to do. But again, I don't feel bad for them because because they're the Taliban. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.